In this video, we'll discover the secret muscle building techniques for vegans and vegetarians. Did you know that weight loss and weight gain is controlled by the difference between how many calories you take and consume daily? While to build muscle, you must eat at a surplus and do resistance training. Similar to any muscle builder or a person that desires to lose weight, vegetarians share a similar goal, which is losing fat and building muscle. Now let's talk about some things that may interest you. Number one, building up your muscles is 80% from your diet while the remainder 20% comes from your physical exercise and training. Number two, to lose fat and build muscle, you have to eat correctly. This will be your first and main priority before moving to your physical activities. If you got your diet fixed and in check, you're one step closer to building up muscle. That being said, building muscle as a vegetarian is a daunting task and a complex one due to the fact that you would have a restriction to the certain food you have access to eat. Number three, determining your vegan diet plan is significant to determine on what you can and should eat and how you can consume it. Just like any ordinary people that have fixed their diet plan, as a vegetarian, it's best to track the calories of everything you eat during the day. Number four, as a vegetarian, your protein requirements will vary from the usual diet plan that ordinary people practice. You'll probably need to consume a protein supplement with the addition to your personal diet if you're strength training. There are various types of protein-based food that you can choose from, such as rice protein, hemp protein, and gemma pea protein, as well as soy. Egg or whey protein are viable options too if you're not a vegan that avoids foods produced by animals or animal products in any way. When it comes to the consumption of vegetable protein, there are various important factors to keep in mind when considering vegetable protein. There are anti-nutritional factors which are commonly found in soy and other vegetable protein isolates that is capable of limiting the extent to which your body system can utilize the protein. Thus, it is highly important to keep in mind that your body may require a higher consumption of vegetable protein to gain the same effect of a usual consumption of protein. Next, we'll talk about the best vegetable protein powders you could consider. 1. Whey Protein One of the best choices for vegetarians, especially for muscle builders. Moreover, it helps with cutting down excess weight and supports your health overall. Whey protein can be easily absorbed and digested into your body. Additionally, it's an ideal choice for people who are lactose intolerant as it is tolerable compared to other protein powders. If you're a vegan that's refrained from consuming any dairy products, whey protein is clearly not your choice as it's derived from cheese production. 2. Brown Rice Protein Powder This is a good option if you can't opt for whey protein as they're gluten and dairy free. They're packed with high levels of antioxidants and nutrients to support weight loss. 3. Hemp Protein this contains a complete amino acid profile while it's easy to digest and it helps with pre-workout as it won't cause stomach issues while you're exercising. Moreover, hemp is a safer plant source of protein in general as it's cultivated using an organic agricultural method. There are various nutrient-dense foods that you can gain protein for your plant-based diet. Vegetables such as avocado, broccoli, spinach, sweet potatoes, and boiled peas can be your staple vegan diet. Legumes, especially lentils and beans, which have been the foundation of various diet plans, are plants that you could consider. They are high in protein and dietary fiber. Moreover, they're mainly feel-good food for satiety, balancing blood sugar, maintaining weight and energy. Last but not least, nuts and seeds can be incorporated into your snack or meal diet plan as they offer high amounts of protein, fiber, vitamins, and minerals. There's a saying, if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. Benjamin Franklin. Hence, never underestimate the power of planning. Planning out your diet is being self-aware with what you can eat and how much you eat daily. 1. The optimized way to do this is to calculate the calories of everything you consume during the course of the entire day with the use of a calorie tracking application or a pen and paper. You can check out myfitnesspal.com to be used as a calorie tracker. 2. To easily determine how much you should be eating, you need to determine your own total daily energy expenditure, or TDEE. Check out 1percentedge.com slash IFCALC, which is a good tool to adjust your calorie intake to match your personal goal, whether that's muscle buildup or fat loss. Suffice to say, if you wish to gain muscle, basically you need to eat over your total daily energy expenditure. 
If you're losing weight at the same time while building muscles, it's best to remain conservative by staying within 500 calories above or below, respectively. The TDEE calculator will only project out the estimated daily caloric needs, hence you need to track your daily caloric intake and compare that to your weight loss or gain to determine a more personalized approach. Adjust your daily intake and reassess for the next few weeks. Repeat this step until you're losing weight at the rate determined by your own daily deficit. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.